how are you going to achieve that? How are you going to get the raving fans? What do you do when you have a prospect? What is it that you do? Think about it. Do you send them an email after you've talked to them? Do you verify all their information? Do you fact find? Do you send them a card? I like to send a card after I get their address, their physical address. It was great talking to you, and I look forward to helping you out. I can't tell you how many times that's resulted in business to bring me up a rung on the ladder. And they're the simple things. Because people want to be liked. And people want to do business with people who like them. And you can give all the information you want, but you have to, you have to really put yourself out there. You have to want the business. You have, to, you have to make the effort, and you have to stay on top of your clients. They're our best referral source. Our clients are our best referral source. And when he says raving fans, it's absolutely true, because I get calls all the time from people who I have helped. And the important key is, I just didn't help you once. I called you again. I followed up six months later. How is everything going? Is the plan, you know, I, mean, I do health insurance, I do life insurance, I do all these types of insurances. I call, I ask, is it, are you having any issues? Are you happy with what you have? Sometimes I just call to say hi, just to call to say, and, and they're surprised. Why? Yeah, okay. I don't know, I'm just calling to see how everything's going. Oh, everything's fine, thank you. Thanks for calling, it's simple, and it's easy to do. The problem is, it's easy not to do. And a lot of people don't look at that because we're continually chasing the new lead, the new prospect, when really a gold mine is awaiting us with the clients we already have. So think about how, how are you connecting with those clients? What, are your, what is your plan? What are you continually doing on a quarterly basis, on a yearly basis? How are you staying up with them? You know, I heard some great ideas, and I, and I do a lot of those ideas I heard. If you know, if you, when you do your fact finding and you find some personal information, and this person likes to do some uh, high, hiking, trail hiking, you know, maybe you find there's an article you read online, you can email it to them. <clears throat> it shows you care, it shows you heard them. Because people want to be heard. And people love when you, they have said something and you remember two months later and you send them something. Oh my God, that's special. And it's easy to do. And again, it's easy not to do. And people don't do it. And you know, look at all the opportunity that's out there. Look at all the opportunity that's available to you. You never know when opportunity is going to strike. I love the fact that we have 30 people here today. What an incredible opportunity that is. But I dare say some of you are going to leave here letting an opportunity go. Not connecting with everyone you could have. We grab the business card, what are you going to do with it? You're going to go home, it's going to be in your pocket. You're going to go home, it's going to go on your desk. Two days later, you're going to look at it. A week later, it goes in the garbage. I'm sure someone has done that here. <laughs> but it's opportunity, it's following up, it's listening, it's hearing some phrases, some words that you can identify with and to reach out. You know, I love the fact that everywhere I go, there's an opportunity to be had. You just never know. Standing in line at Publix, there's an opportunity. Talking with Michael out here at the front as he's taking your money is an opportunity to have a conversation. Talking with someone here is an opportunity. But we're always in the sell-sell mode, right? We're, always, we're not listening. I want you to listen to me. I want you to sell you something. Do you want to buy? you want to buy? I mean, everyone in sales is ready to sell any day. Anyone in sales. I'm ready to sell you right now, right? person has to be ready to buy. They have to have a trust in you. They have to listen to you. They want to make sure that you're listening to them. So think of the opportunity that's out there. Because there is so much. I had the opportunity. I was 
past few days, this past weekend, I was down in the dumps. Has anyone been there like, no momentum, you're just like, just moving along, you're trying to break out of that funk, can't break out of that funk. And I had an opportunity to go to this seminar uh, conference on Tuesday. And I went to, and I, and, I, and I didn't want to go. I was like, oh, I got to go on the train at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, my God, I don't want to wake up. But I had to do something different. You have to shock your body to get out of that funk. You have to do something different. So I did. I said, all right, I'm going down there. Best thing I ever did. It was an opportunity to uplift my spirits, to hear different information, to give me different thoughts in my head so I can move forward. All of a sudden, that ball started rolling down the hill again because it was stuck. And it's about momentum and the momentum that you have in your business. And what are you doing to create that momentum? Are you staying in touch with your business, with your uh, referral partners? Are you staying in touch with your gate openers? Are you staying in touch with your customers? And when it stops, when you slow down a little bit, when you're stuck, you got to do something that shocks you. You got to push yourself out of that and do something else. And you'll be surprised how getting out of that comfort zone is going to push you in a different direction. It's going to get you going again. I got excited by that on Tuesday. I heard, I heard Les Brown speak. Oh, he was there. It was awesome. If you don't know who he is, go on YouTube and YouTube him. You want to feel uplifted? You want to feel like you can do whatever you want to do? Think about it. You know, we were all meant to have success in this life. We were all meant to have it. The problem is not everyone here believes it. The problem is we think small. We don't think big. I want to make $50,000 this year. No, I want to make $250,000. Why not fail big? If you're going to have a goal, fail big. Don't fail small. I want a car. I want a white Ford Taurus. No, I don't want that. I want a custom-made Maserati, $750,000. And if I fail, maybe I'll get the Aston Martin at 150. <laughs> fail big. Look at those dreams. Keep pushing yourself forward. Look at all the opportunities. And before you know it, you'll be able to get there. But it takes a plan. It takes goals. It takes discipline. It takes hard work. You got to keep moving forward. And when you get stuck, you got to look at those disciplines. You don't want to wake up early in the morning, you still got to do it. You don't want to make those phone calls, you still have to do it. Because you got to break out of the funk. And I broke out of the funk, so I'm happy. I'm excited. So take today, look at every action you have as an opportunity. Appreciate life. Have gratitude in your life. Help someone here today. If you heard something today that differentiated someone, reach out to them. I did. I heard some good information. And I'll tell you what I heard that differentiated someone from other people. Visual identity. Those are great two words right there. Visual identity. Wow. You know, I never thought about that. The chicken outside as you walk in, I never saw that. That's your visual identity. Three, everything's chicken. Wow. That's some great information. Navigators versus agents. Differentiating yourself. Awesome. Awesome. What is the difference? He told us. That's great information. And that's opportunity. He's created opportunity for himself. And Carlton with the tax code 179. 179. Right? Awesome information. 500K for 2013, 25K for 2014. Differentiators create opportunities. Go out today. <laughs> Look at everything in your life as an opportunity. Reach out to someone. Do something different. Give before you receive, and you'll have success in your life. Thank you. I just want to add something to what Lewis said.